I saw my first badger when I was eight years old. It came out of a set right next to a council estate. It was really busy. There was loads of people there. First time I went, didn't work very well. I put an old tent covered in bracken about this far from the hole. Needless to say, the badgers didn't come out. They either saw me or they smelled me. But the next time I went, I climbed up a tree. And after quite a long wait, one of the little badgers came out. I just saw its nose. I can see it now in my mind coming out of that set where the bluebells grew. But it just about managed to get out before I got so impatient that I immediately shone my dad's torch on it and it bolted back down the hole. But for me at that time, the badger was a very enigmatic animal. It was an animal that I couldn't know much about because it lived underground and it came out at night. And I always wanted to see more of them, to learn more about them. So when I was 16, I started studying badgers, three groups of badgers quite close to my home. I fed them food, I followed them around, I spent a lot of time looking at this, their poo, so I could find out what they ate and where they went, because it tells you that. So badger poo is quite interesting stuff. But the best thing was always getting close to these animals. And on one night that I'll never forget, I went to Milk Mead Set. Milk Mead Wood was where the set was. It was really early in the evening. I went in and I decided to sit down on the ground rather than in a tree. And at about five o'clock, broad daylight, sun coming through the trees, I noticed two little badger cubs coming out of the set really early. And then they started coming down their well-worn path straight towards where I was sat. And I sort of thought, this is going to be a disaster because they'll smell me and bolt back to the set, down the hole, and I won't get good views of badgers uh, at all that evening. But they just kept coming. And they came right up, and I was sat on the ground, and then they started playing with my shoelaces and jumping over my feet. And I was so preoccupied with these cubs, looking at them here, and I was absolutely frozen like this, just not moving, not even breathing that I noticed out of the corner of my eye that the female badger, call her the sow, had come out of the set and she was just watching this. And she was looking intently at me with these cubs who were making all these noises, playing around, pulling my shoelaces right on my feet. And then after about 15 seconds, maybe 10, 15 seconds, not long, but it seemed a long time, she made a really sharp sound that I'd never heard ba uh, badgers normally make. And instantaneously, the two cubs left my feet scarpered along the track and bolted down the hole with her and that was the last I saw of them all night but it was one of the best encounters wild badgers playing with your uh, shoelaces absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic